Hello and welcome to the Terror Dome. We are at the Gary Force Acura Ice Arena in Nolansville. It's kind of like that movie Groundhog Day where you keep waking up and you're in the same place and the same thing is happening, except for in this case, it's Team Minnesota Black is playing in the same arena three games in one day. Team Minnesota is 3-0. and and Machine Orange, this is just their third game of pool play. They will play again tomorrow morning while Minnesota gets to sleep in. And Machine Orange is one and one with one loss yesterday, one win this morning. Team Minnesota, three and all. We're just gonna get right into it here. It's newer Prosser and Volkers. Friendly Bundy sends it into the offensive zone. The girls are gonna get to work. Christian and Bundy on defense. Christian fights for one at the line and we're gonna regroup this one. Oh, back in deep. The girls know what to do. Starting out with some pretty good heat here. Machine Orange gets around Bundy, but a second attempt gains the puck back. Late on the side switch, but a pinch calms that down. So Minnesota's already getting a change. Machine is rimming pucks. Christian again with a pinch. Her pinch cheers into the excitement. Willow Harns behind the net, looking for a friend. She finds Ellie Hardwick from Warro. Long shot, tipped. No goal. We're gonna try and pan in a little bit more. Oh, puck is out to Christian. Christian comes in, shoots. Somehow misses the net from about 15 feet out. Very unfortunate as they've had a couple really, really good chances with nothing to show for it. Like I said, we're gonna be zoomed in a little bit more to try and bring the action to you at home as Harnes puts a puck into the crease. Renata Stinza, one of our friends from Machine Orange, is kind of the heart and soul of this team. She wears number 17. She is a uh, hardworking hockey player. She's the strong, silent type. Hard not to root for her as Stevens walks in and it's a blocker save. So lots of opportunities. Renata here is a hard charger, so we're gonna see a lot of her tonight as Donahue steps in the way. Hardwick plays the wall, Stevens fights for it. Pretty good little battle going on here as Stevens comes away with it. She puts it to the middle of the ice. The middle of the ice is dangerous, so forcing passes across the middle, probably not gonna be a lot of success today. Neutral zone is a great place to build speed rather than try to force the puck. Number 10 from Orange walks in, catches some zins. Miss Stenza back in the play as the puck comes over to Prosser's side. Prosser tries to build some speed. She gets angled out, but it smartly puts the puck where we want it. Let's go to work, ladies. We got a pinch. We got somebody covering over the top. We like our shape. Vivian Huber with a breakout pass. Intercepted by Volkers off the bounce. Centering attempt to Prosser gets pushed wide, but Bundy's there. Long shot, tip, it's in the net. So Minnesota Black with a wild, wild start to this game and the fans are going crazy. Go crazy everybody. Yeah. Huge cheering section, probably thousands of people in total. A redirected long shot goes in. For now, we'll just call it Brindley Bundy. I didn't see who threw it out to her, but the uh, Minnesota Black National Elite squad takes a quick lead and it has been in charge so far. I'll let you know once Orange comes over the blue line. Prosser tries to center. So he knew her centers a puck in front of a gaping net. Volkers is one step short. All right, Orange is back in the game. Number 94, and with a nice carry, she gets spun around and tries to chip back short side pucks on the net. 
<laughs> Ref is slow with the whistle, so he must see that it's loose. It looks like a rugby scrum. They sound the whistle and decide to drop it at the dot. Let me know in the comments if you think that this view is better than the last two games. I re-watched some of the footage and I felt like we need to get a little closer to the action. So I'm going to do my best. Christian wheels around. Picks up the puck and moves it up the wall to Harns. Harns and Preston has been a combo with Maeve McDonough for the last couple games as Willow Harns from Rochester zigs and zags. She's slicing this team off, but it's a blocker save. One thing we've noticed about the goalie for Machine Orange is she's opposite-handed as most goalies. So where left-handers usually have the advantage of shooting blocker side, it seems that right-handed players are going to have the advantage today in order to shoot blocker side as Christian picks up a puck at center. She pulls it to her backhand, throws it to the weak side. We got time and space. Willow just dumps one on and provides a juicy rebound. Willow Harns is a puck magnet as the puck just continually goes to her stick. Christian gathers, she's under duress. Two orange players, and it's of course it's Harns on the spot. So, three shifts in a row now. Minnesota Girls Black National Elite is in command. But Stins is there and she pushes. Piper Nyberg gathers. She plays one off the wall and gets spun out by Stinza. It's a dangerous situation. There's a shot right on and Kayla swallows it up. So first big chance for Machine Orange to score and Kayla Eaton comes up big. Puck one back by Donahue. She tries to clear. Bundy's fighting. This is going to be maybe a little more physical. We have the same referees as our last game where the game was called pretty tight. Very unusual to have the same pair of referees two games in a row in a prestigious tournament. Usually not allowed in regional play or state tournaments. But we're just happy to play a scheduled game on time as Donahue picks one up. We'll see if the start of this game provides uh, the ability for the girls to play hard. As a Donahue slides one across center. Stevens was kind of waiting for something to happen and it sure happened quick. Hardwick sends it deep for the girls to go to work. We got three below the goal line. Stevens steps in. What a fantastic opportunity. Puck is deflected to the corner, picked up by Stinza. Zoe Newer rides her off the puck and stick handles through these kids like the girls that were on the ice before this session. Zoe circles, corrals it on her forehand and slides one in just wide. Newer stays with the puck. The magnetism is strong. Zoe Newer looking like a young Jedi down there. Zins comes in to pinch, tries to hold the wall, it's a two on two the other way. Renata Stinza, she's one on two, tries to split the D. It's a Hardwick poke check, gathered by Zoe, handed off to Stevens, and Stevens can't get the handle on it. We're coming hard on the short side, it's Evelyn Volkers from Elk River. Addie Preston comes in to try and ride a player off the puck and she's successful. Zins picks up the loose change and turns it back up the strong wall. Players getting tangled up as the puck comes to center. Puck is played up to the line, in and out. Hardwick picks it up. Christian's in the place. We've got the Preston Volkers crosser line. We're trying to go weak side for heavy. The Defenseman number five is Vivian Huber. She was on the West Selects team for the Minnesota Selects tournament. Just was Evelyn Volkers, the player that she was battling with. So what you are now witnessing is the state of hockey civil war where friendships will be tested, at least until the last buzzer. 
Long shot deflected wide from Bundy. A rare retreat from Christian. Puck is cleared. They're going to play on. Long pass up to Prosser. Just can't handle it. They're going to let this one roll. So we'd like to avoid the whistles until the pucks are in the net. Let these girls play their game. A lot of confident characters here. A lot of skillful players. Oh, Elena Nolander sidesteps a charge. And we've got a delayed call. It's going to be a power play for Minnesota. Now, the Minnesota girls' black National League lead team has scored three power play goals today. But that's the kind of thing that happens when you play three games in one day. Well, so, looks like they're going to put one of them. There was some confusion there where Brinley must have done something, but she got away with whatever that was. It's going to be five on four for Minnesota. Six and a half minutes left in the first period. one nothing Minnesota on a long deflected shot. And my math says it should be five on four, but they're going to be very selective over who they put out there. So it's McDonough, Addie Preston, Willa Harns with Bundy and Newer lined up at the blue line and Newer picks it up. She chips over. Ooh, an errant pass from Maeve McDonough splits Newer and Bundy. Will they use some speed differential to do get away from this angling player. Bundy gets hauled down, no call. Preston picks it up. She's got some momentum as she's angled off the puck. Play reaches the end wall. And this is where the decisions need to be made, the tough decisions. Black hounds for the puck. It's McDonough to Newer. McDonough corrals it. She looks out front. She's got it on her backhand. She's got her back to the play. She's headed out to a high turnover area, and that's what happens. Oh, a D-to-D -D pass could have easily been intercepted, but Machine Orange with a shorthanded opportunity leading in with two players backhanded across the front of the net, and it's Donahue who picks it up. She slides one out to center, and boy, a girl's just maybe lacking a little bit of juice. You know, if you're if you're 80%, give me 100% of that 80% right now is Renata Stenza carries in. She drives, slides one in front. It stays in front until Nolander intercepts puck is out of the blue line and minnesota's just about out of time they got 30 seconds left on the penalty to machine oranges scarlet shealy scarlet is a wyzetta player and she played on the 12a team with addie preston over the uh, association season this winter so like i said lots of Friends will be enemies for the next hour just to play this game. Stevens walks in with a nice move. Long shot right on center. And the goalie grabs that puck and hands it to the oldest guy on the ice. Hardwick with a long shot, it's deflected. Almost in the net. Boy, if we can if we can use our defensemen from the blue line a bit in this game and, and keep clouding up the vision of this young goaltender, I think we're gonna be good, but the pressure is hard. Scarlett Sheely's skating like uh, her hair's on fire, but uh, it's a nice one, so we'll come back the other way. Thank you to everybody watching at home. Get your popcorn ready for this national broadcast. It's going to be a hoot. Tie up at the draw, and it's Volkers with the drive-by. But where that shot would have been a very difficult blocker save, this goalie is reverse-handed, so it's an easy glove. Once again, Face-off is won by Machine this time. Huber with a nice backhand sauce up the ice, but I believe this is going to be called back on an icing. So we're going to have a third offensive zone face-off. The play originated to the goalie's right. That's where we should restart. On the ice are Zins and Bundy. Newer centering 
Prosser and I believe that is Evelyn Volkers. Scarlett Sheely with a pickup and strong sticks are swatting as Homer Prosser dumps one in. Not on net, but the goalie decides we why not have a fourth face off in the row? Preston, McDonough, and Harns enter. Hardwick and Christian. Gonna be the bullies on the blue line here. Preston has won probably around 90% of these faceoffs, and there's another one as McDonough tries to drive by. Tied up on the wall. Chip back to Hardwick. Long shot, deflected again. And a rebound. These these long shots are gonna kill them. Christian let her rip, but their long shot on target pops up. Girls are playing pinball right now. This puck gets relayed back to Christian. Christian dives into the zone, tries to center one. Swipe to the side. Preston gets in the way. It's a two-on-two -two forming right now. Starting from scratch. Machine recognizes the need for a change and they smartly replace all of their skaters as Hardwick plays one up the wall to Willow. It's off her foot. Numbers aren't adding up, but the reinforcements are coming, I promise. Christian gets sidestepped. Machine Orange gets a shot, a rare opportunity with just under three minutes in this first period in a one nothing game and it sails wide, so. Maybe she saw something that didn't exist, but she went for it. A shot now is glanced from Kayla Eaton, the Minnesota black goalie. Maybe McDonough takes the opportunity to break a puck out as they stretch off a bounce pass. It's Annie Moose, Deep Haven's finest. Adriana Stevens steps in to try and break it up. And Stevens has a lane. Stevens is breaking with speed. She slows up to set up a shot. Looks like she drops the puck to Emmy Donahue. Donahue and Stevens trying to make some magic happen on the to the right of the goalie. Donahue gets knocked off the puck, but Zoe angles out. And Zoe Newer is in space, ladies and gentlemen. Player steps up, there's a puck slip that happens. Newer's below the goal line where she does a hip slip. Flips the puck back to her friend Piper. Piper tries to go D to D to her Lakeville partner and we're just gonna have to reset, regain the zone. So they work it back. Great pass, chip in by Stevens. Donahue and Nyberg look to change. Volkers and Zins come to the party as a three on one is we're in the works with some back pressure up the middle. The centering attempt gets swatted by Kayla and Stevens ends up with another puck in her lap. Long shot wide, goalie kicks it to the corner. Evelyn Volkers with her patented toe drag, then backhands it to, to the middle. Hardwick with a strong pinch at the hash. These two teams met last year in Las Vegas, and it was a hard-fought two-nothing game as Hardwick sends one into the keeper, into the catcher from the Bush Lake Road goalie. We're about a half an hour into our broadcast. I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor, the Staybridge Suites, hoping they'll maybe discount our rooms. Vivian Huber with a puck. She tries to play it up the wall. It's not a great pass, but it gets corralled and bumped out. So what should probably be an icing call does not get whistled down and Zins has to fight for her right. Maybe McDonough on the far wall, working hard to block a Huber shot. It gets shin pads. It's a Sheely put back, clear to the side. And now it's Maeve McDonough. She tries to fire to Willow Harns. Harns gets a breakaway, and she fires it right off the crossbar. So some excellent chances just as the buzzer rings. So what we've seen here is a very exciting first period. <laughs> we get such a kick out of uh, Preston and Harns. Their, uh, their tall and small routine never runs out of, uh, runs out of fun. 
So, coaches will probably Vince has got his board out. Coach Jim Bodick is the head coach for the Machine Orange 2012 team. Their coaching staff also includes a young man by the name of Tracy Pink and a friend of mine, Adam Taylor, former Minnesota State High School champion with the Blaine Bengals. Coaching staff for the Minnesota Girls Black National Elite team includes Jay Hardwick, Vince Stevens, Mike Neuer and Mr. Steven Nolander. So, strong forces at work, both on the ice and off the ice. They're trying to will their teams into a good position. Both of these teams have at least one win, so they're all looking to move on. But like we said in previous broadcasts, this is kind of the moving day. This is where teams can set themselves up for a nice seat at the table, come bracket play. Both of these teams have expectations of reaching the quarterfinals at the very least. These are teams that probably have their eyes on making it to the finals. And in some cases, like this team, Minnesota, they're, they're here to take the trophy. So they're playing three games in one day and they're gonna take it period by period. They're gonna try and keep a good grip on their stick. And if their will to win is strong enough, they might be able to come out of this one champions. <laughs> Quick shout out to our technical director, Al Bundy. Appreciate all the hard work and sacrifice he's made. As the second period kicks off, we've got a long change here. So it'll be interesting to see which teams get captured in their zone and struggle to make changes and which teams are smart enough to get the puck deep and play pinball. So Bundy rips a puck down low. Machine Orange is fighting with it. Oh, Evelyn Volkers. Brindley Bundy dumps a puck in the zone. Palmer Prosser goes to the far corner, peels it off the wall and just hands it to Evelyn. Evelyn, with that right-handed shot, comes across the face of the net and just smashes at five hole. That puck was through the goalie and hit the back pad, so lots of force there. We've known Evelyn since she was a youngster. Very promising player. It's her first year playing with the team, and some of these first-year players with this team are making a big impact, but <laughs> they get a little too excited here, so we're going to reset. Face off in the Minnesota zone, won by Volkers. Zoe Neuer tries to fly. She's got maybe a step on this defenseman as, as they try and stretch it the other way. So it's kind of interesting. It's almost a chess game. You could see Evelyn took that face off and they tried to fly Zoe. When the puck got caught by the orange defenseman, she saw one of her wings stretching and they tried to play it back. So they're going to take advantage of any opportunity that they can gain and any weakness that they perceive, they will go right after it. So it should be a pretty fun uh, Harlem Globetrotters style back and forth game. Long pass by Pink. Gets stopped in its tracks. Volkers again. Long toe drag, hard shot right on target. We had numbers going to the net. The advantage of holding the offensive zone in the second period is obviously that your bench is closer and you can get a lot quicker changes. If the other team is not allowed to surrender their defensive position, then you got opportunities like that one there, another long shot deflected. So Minnesota may have a game plan here for this goalie. This is the third long shot deflected. One has gone in and two look like they might have as we're Sitting at a 2 nothing game here. Puck along the near wall, McDonough's got room. McDonough's forehand to forehand with Willow. She sauces one over. Willow buries it! Absolutely beautiful hockey. Forehand to forehand, two on one. Puck gets sauced over to Young Willow. Young Willow makes no mistake, so Maeve McDonough always 
always the uh, the playmaker and Willow. Good redemption for that crossbar she hit earlier. So, and if you'll notice, Steve Nolander held his hand about six inches from the ice for Willow. <laughs> it's the little things. Piper Nyberg picks up a puck. Forecheck is strong. A little pick play for Hardwick. Stevens with a nice 10 and 2 picks it up. Fake shot. Plays it to the corner where Donahue goes to work. Donahue plays it to Nyberg. It's Scarlett Sheely from Machine driving hard to the net. Long shot. Easily blockered by Kayla Eaton. Hardwick sends one right up there in the mix. Noel Anders picks it up, sends it deep. Vivian Huber on the rescue. Up to Sheely. A couple YZ to YZ. Our broadcasting crew is not super familiar with all these players, but we know a handful of high performing girls on this orange team. Long pass up to Scarlett. Scarlett's got to build some speed. It's a one on one with Piper. Piper pokes her twice, three times. Fourth poke check as Donahue gets high sticked a bit. He's looking around. Bundy. Bundy has room. Stevens is in the middle of the ice with the puck. There's a delayed call here. I think Brindley Bundy might have gotten hooked when she, or maybe it might have been the uh, the high sticking on Amelia Donahue that gets us the call, but. We're looking at a 3-0 game for Team Minnesota, Black National Elite. They've scored multiple power play goals today. This is not where you want to be if you are wearing an orange jersey. So, like I said, Machine Orange is a team out of Minnesota. They practice based out of Edina. And they are hungry for this win. They. They would love to add another win to their resume. They do play again tomorrow morning while Minnesota gets a well-deserved break. Play comes right into your living room. Minnesota wearing their brand new black jerseys with purple and white trim looking awfully dapper. As they're in pursuit of a uh, particularly tricky player here who we seem to be in some type of holding pattern where we're floating up the ice. <laughs> they must see something that they like with uh, a mismatch of our forwards versus their defensemen because our, we were nowhere near our normal positions holding the zone as Christian sidesteps a player, passes to Neuer, Neuer puts it over the top. Preston is there first. We got time and space. It's a power play. Oh, bouncing puck escapes Christian. She better take a good line at this. It's a breakaway for Orange. A nice backhand pull chip shot saved by Kayla Eaton. Long pass for Neurer. They're calling it deflected. We're going to retrieve this. Machine plays it right into the works here. 38 seconds remain on the power play as Stinza picks the pocket of McDonough. Zoe Neurer comes in. Got a debt to pay. Newer's in space. Dangerous little spark plug here. She throws across the ice to McDonough. We're doing a uh, weave formation. Orange is just poking pucks free and taking liberties, but Kaylee Eaton makes short work of that. Oh, but we're gonna keep it live. So Elena Nolander plays it up. We got a power play. We don't want face-offs. We want power play. Willow gets to the puck first. She slips it. Caitlin Pink with a nice little mohawk as she sidesteps some pretty tired defenders. Christian slaps it up to Harris. Harns, sorry. Harns, it's a two on one. Nolander shoots one in. Kind of a flippy chippy shot, but gets gloved. And at 10 minutes left in the second period, we're looking at a three goal lead for Minnesota girls. Donahue Stevens. Nolander digging in at the dot. Nyberg and Hardwick. So we've got size, we've got strength, we've got playmaking ability. The ref was holding them from the change, but that's hard to do when they're short a player. You have to let them put five on. Not Hardwick with a long shot. She sees it, she saves it.
So you land an all Andrew, trying to win a loose puck here. And she does, she plays it back to Stevens. Stevens turns and fires a very hard shot. Knee high, let it fly, gets gloved wide. Large and in charge, this machine orange coming in strong. With two players, they've got a second wave coming, but the second wave from Minnesota receives their first as Nyberg's building speed. She chips off the wall and looks to retain possession. Puck is rolling. She goes backhand, 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 and picks it up on her backhand again. Nyberg plays to Bundy. Bundy back to Nyberg. I like the idea, but I think she might have uh, needed a little help there. Bundy sends one deep. They're going to let it go. Nine minutes. Huber hits the brakes. They try and disarm her. She fires it up the wall. Puck is played in the middle of the ice, where Volkers forces a turnover with a strong stick. She's looking to share. She's looking to turn. Oh, she's trying to go to the net. I like it. Volkers often very bullish in trying to get to the net, and that that's where we drew some penalties earlier today. Pulls it back on the blue line. They might have gave us a little grace as a as it takes a funny bounce, and Newer's right there in case there's anything to pick up. There is not. Some personnel decisions being made on the bench. Prosser, Volkers, Newer at center. Bundy and Zins at the blue. Prosser throws a shot wide, but it's gloved down. So these goalies are in favor of faceoffs, despite the fact that Minnesota is winning most of them. I like that play by our goaltender Kayla Eaton to keep that play going. What happened is we ended up getting a couple chances off that that can't guarantee would have happened off the faceoff. Sorry about that. So Scarlett and Palmer battle. Volkers tries to slip one over to Newer. And Machine Orange plays one in. So there's we've got another pair of teammates battling here, or former teammates. Ali Zins, who makes a pass up to Volkers and then to Newer, her winter teammate True Taylor was one of those other first year players that made the Centennial 12A team that had so much success this year. As Zoe rips a shot into the glove. So they're going to have to find a way to work the blocker of this offhand goalie. It almost seems like she's cheating a little bit toward her blocker side as she's very confident with her catcher. Three on three, play down low, comes to the weak side where they try and break something over Willow's stick. You ever try and throw a frisbee through a willow tree? Unlikely, long shot gloved again. Willow knocked down a nice saucer pass. Preston, very high percentage face-off draw, wins one back. Quick shot, good stop, chip back. In traffic, long shot, deflected up into the defenseman and then falls where, where Orange picks it up and a, 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 another bad deflection for Orange as Preston sends a laser off the blocker. Christian is here, she's trying to get to the front of the net. Number 12 with a good poke check. And it looks like they're going to try and be on their way. And they're on their way. Okay. Christian surfs over as her lane is clear. Taps the puck back the other way. So having some fun neutral zone play here as the girls are working really hard to try and regain that zone. Nice little angle out by Bundy. She ends up taking a player off her feet. Nice handoff. Christian to Donahue. Donahue's charging hard as she gets, runs into a dead end. Sydney gets pinned to the wall, but Stevens is there. Stevens walks right in and, and passes to the blue line, but we have had a great opportunities there. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes you just gotta put it in a, put it away. Stevens with another chance, just misses the net from about 10 feet out. You can't help but think this could be a 10-0 game. Go, 
as, as the lane opens up for Elena to walk right down the center of the ice. Oh, until she doesn't. So that's a good way to shut somebody down. She looked a little tired there. I don't know if she's into shift or what, but oh, a centering pass. Nobody wants it. Nyberg comes in, good stick on puck and good job encapsulating the zone. Seems like there's a little confusion going on here with five minutes left in the second period, but both teams playing extremely hard, closing gaps. Hasn't really been used against them yet. But the best players know how to take away time and space and the best players know how to find time and space when others are trying to take it away. So obviously a bit of a trade-off as Scarlett finds a, some breathing room. Bundy with a sweep and a poke. And Volkers, here we go. Volkers with a little bit of a reverse check, reminiscent of the Peter Forsberg era. Love the body control. As they play up the wall, Bundy turns, but it's Piper Nyberg who's going to go save this one. They wave icing as it gets picked up, but a bouncing puck gets steered back where it came from. Bodies are piling up. Palmer gets a chance. Bounces a little too far out of her reach. Volkers is looking to set the big shot free. She's got a cannon, folks. Three players come at her. One, then two, then three. But she gets it to Zoe. Zoe tries to get away. She gives a girls in her grill every turn. Vivian Huber scoops one up for Machine Orange. And the puck is played to center where Ellie Hardwick turns it north. Board bounce to Harns. Harns gets stood up. The backhand chip to Hardwick allows for a little bit of space. Not sure what happened there, but a uh, shot ends up in the net. And we will reset. So we've got Preston out on the ice. So be looking at this face off. The girls are talking very smartly, trying to set something up. Not sure if they're voicing frustration or just communication or... But of course, another face-off win back to Hardwick. Long shot. Not a lot of steam. Not a lot of traffic. McDonough tries to pick one up down low. Preston joins. Orange gets out alive. Until McDonough turns it over the elbow. Preston tries a backhand shot. McDonough's shot is steered wide, and Machine Orange is really not looking like the kind of team that's winning Rose Series games. They're kind of packing it in. Renata gains a puck and comes up the wall, but there's a lot of trouble in her way. Here comes Preston. Fun fact, as Addie Preston rips a laser beam off the bottom of the goalie's glove, Addie Preston played in the Rose Series tournament in California with Machine Orange. That was two years ago. She then joined the Minnesota girls black team in Las Vegas and helped us win a championship in a tournament where they defeated Machine Orange to the tune of, I believe it was two to nothing. And Addie Preston is back here playing her heart out, trying to, trying to secure a second Rose Series title and help this team earn their third in a row. So miles to go before we sleep as Christian just, <laughs> we used to wear these t-shirts when I was in middle school that said no fear and I'm gonna have to find one on eBay for some of these defensemen because they are getting after it. Puck is picked up by Orange. She gets young skater getting a little over her toes there and Stevens comes back. Oh a nice pass from Stevens to Donahue to Nolander. Nolander gets redemption on that breakaway but shoots the puck just wide of the net. Christian comes in Gets body, but no puck. It's a three-on-one against Bundy. We got to fill the middle here, ladies. So Christian comes back, trying to pick it up, but Bundy's breakdancing. Spinning on her lips, but it's newer. Zoe Newer gets the puck. Tries to get the puck deep. Gets stopped at the top of the circles. Bundy tries for a hold. Some great physical play. These young players are growing at such an astonishing rate yet they have such a literacy over their body. They can <laughs> glide on one blade and one knee and still handle a puck. 
turn it and make a pass. It's really amazing. Oh, a good centering attempt from Hardwick finds the heels of Volkers. Nyberg steps in. Piper Nyberg wearing number 72 on the blue line. Probably a story behind that. As she easily surfs over and collapses Scarlet's hopes of having a breakaway there. Palmer puts the puck deep. A lot of you at home are probably wondering how much time is left. There's one minute left in the second period. Long shot. Catches somebody's blouse. Oh, it looks like Preston got, got stunned by that one. That's a stinger. She plays on. She's shaking it off like Taylor Swift. Puck is played to Minnesota's zone. A nice shoulder check by Hardwick. It's a stretch pass here. McDonough. We're, we're covering ground, ladies and gentlemen. McDonough pulls up. She was waiting for, oh, nice. Oh what a beautiful play nice. to Preston. Shot on goal wide, and Harns is there for the rebound, but just can't get enough wood on it to put it in the back of the net. It'd be fun to see her score two in a row. So we're still at 3-0 here in the closing seconds. As Nyberg is holding it to the wall, and Hardwick's putting it to the end wall. So smart play. We do one defense out. Nyberg stays. You're just going to play till the buzzer when you know there's less than a minute left as Stevens comes in. Long shot over the net. Nolander tries to tap to the middle, and that's it. So a great second period for the Minnesota girls black. They pick up a couple goals. They're picking up some momentum. Seems like the adjustments made, if there were any, after the first period are benefiting the team that's played three games today. Some major changes are going to be made, going to need to be made. No pun intended. Over on the machine orange sideline. Hey. Referees having a cigarette break. So this is a 15 minute third period, and then the girls can go play in the pool. They can go pet dogs in the lobby. They can maybe head out and have a little fun tonight, practice some of that line dancing. But we've still got 15 minutes of blue line dancing. So it's all work and no play for the next 15 minutes stop time as Minnesota is always lined up and ready. You know they're ready because they're always there first. Machine sends five out, kicks the door shut. Let's party, bud. Stevens, boy, wow, long shot glove. Stevens has had a lot of chances in this game. So when her stick gets hot, which we've seen before, as she scored in the championship game last year in Las Vegas. Uh, if she starts putting away half these chances she's getting, we'll be in running time. We can get to bed early. It's obviously a joke. We're having fun in Nashville. Let's go. Puck is played back to center. Christian does a little alley-oop. Just kind of chucks it back where it came from. I think she lost track of that one. She checks in on her friend Renata. Sydney Christian and Renata Stinza played together one season at uh, Minnesota Maid. So no love lost with, between all these teammate pairs and former members of different teams and associations. It's pretty fun to actually be uh, in a new destination playing for a wild belt buckle trophy. And uh, the experiences of playing in awesome rinks like this beautiful Nolansville complex the cementing of the friendships through all these different experiences. Newer comes in. Oh my gosh. Hard to see what actually happened there, but Zoe Newer pulls the puck. I believe she pulled that to her backhand, went high glove side, and it rang all the way around the net. So beautiful goal from Zoe. Not sure how she got it, but I know where she put it. There was no question about it. 4-0 Minnesota with 14 minutes to go. Excellent first shift. Newer and Prosser stay out with Volkers. Hardwick and Nyberg enter. 
Nyberg takes time and space. Hardwick plays it up to Prosser. Prosser can't get a handle on the puck, but she stays ready for it as the puck gets bounced and the play enters your screen. So it's a good little battle here. As Palmer dumps one in. Volkers is in hot pursuit. You know she's going to get to it. Volkers throws a puck out to Hardwick. Hardwick's about 20 feet out. But a, a bouncing and rolling puck is just too much for her to handle. And Zoe is just skating in between players trying to set something up for Nyberg. Puck back to Hardwick. Hardwick off a tongue of a skate. And they think this is going to be offside. So the... Well, the blue line is very faint in color here. It does wrap up the walls. And you know what they say, kids, the puck moves, the players move, but that blue line hasn't moved in about 80 years. Must respect it. Harns left. Minnesota, a rare face-off loss as Harns gets underneath the gentle giant. Preston's giving it a couple whacks, and I think that she's gonna have to sit for that one. Pretty soft penalty, but got to be disciplined. Yeah. So Preston gets rung up for a slash. Her teammate is there to comfort her. Former teammate. You do the crime, you do the time. So two-minute power play, 13 minutes left in the third period. Slide in on this face off a little bit. Ooh, shot off the draw by Stinza. Number 14 is on the ice for Machine Orange, the true Taylor. Number 17, Renata Stinza. Caitlin Pink stops a uh, clearing attempt. And number 94 sends a long shot. Kayla casually gloves it, but it stays loose. We can play it out. And it's, and well done, so. Maybe it's better. We're better off just letting the, t the clock run and trying to make them go 200 as Bundy gets it back. Little, little cutesy pass doesn't connect, but Bundy's got a pretty good hunger for that puck, so I, I never doubt that she's going to be right back on top of it as Zins corrals one with her backhand. Willow tries to one time it all the way down the ice. Number 94 with a Power play clock running down to about halfway through. We're at one minute left as Zins throws a puck right between the, the two orange posts. And that hits the end wall and settles down. So gathered by a backhand. Backhand pass behind True. Taylor to Hardwick. Hardwick, you will play that. So we've got Donahue and Nolander. Christian Hardwick. We're pinching aggressively shorthanded, so <laughs> you know our forwards are going to have to back check like Emmy Donahue does there. There's never been a question about her attitude or effort. Extremely unselfish player. Strong character with that family. Christian picks up a puck, gets shin pad. We're about 15 seconds left in the penalty to Preston. Donahue's got time and space. She turns and she clears it all the way back down. Take a moment to say thank you to everybody at home for sticking with us and enjoying the show. We've sure had some highlights today. Christian got a puck, she turns and turns back. Finds a lane, cuts to the middle, long shot, swatted down. Vivian Huber gets angled out by Addie Preston. Stevens is there to fight for it. Good battle, springs the puck loose, and Zoe Neuer. Zoe gets a shot off, goes far side and wide, picked up by Orange. Good job by Evelyn Volkers for just, oh geez, a, a dangerous cross-checking penalty by one of the smallest players against one of the biggest players, but when you use your stick like that, it doesn't really matter how big you are, so. Number seven comes over the top of Hardwick, and it's gonna be a power play for what is becoming a really deadly, deadly power play. 
Many goals scored today. So, an offensive zone draw with 10 minutes left. At the start of a two minute power play, Preston looking to draw this puck to Donahue Nolander. We got Newer and Bundy at the blue. Bundy fires it down low. Newer dives in. Kind of a hybrid style power play with a player like Zoe at the blue line. And Puck is sent back, so let's see what kind of breakout we can come up with. Girls are running some crossing routes at neutral as Bundy comes with some big speed. She's got space, but she tosses one to center, and it's Scarlett looking to gum things up. So good physical battle. Preston's got room to go. She sends one up to Elena Nolander. No lander with a shot fake and then a bouncing puck. Bounces wide. Gathered by Zoe. Zoe Kaprizov throws a hard low shot right on. Zoe gets going on that forehand side. You gotta be careful. Long shot gets sealed off by the goalie, but no lander is there. Stevens and McDonough come in for Elena and Amelia. Ellie Hardwick comes in for Zoe. So it's Hardwick and Nyberg, Stevens, Preston, and McDonough. Hand off to Hardwick. Long shot. Looked like it had us had eyes on that thing, but the goalie for a machine does a really nice job of not dropping and letting in high shots, which if you've seen these tournaments, that seems to be how a lot of teams get scored on. Goalies tend to drop every time they don't see the puck. And this goalie is doing a fantastic job of not letting anything easy by. As a spin by Newer leaves a puck for Hardwick. Long shot. Well, he never saw that one. And of course, she dropped it. Nyberg centers. It's Zoe. And it's a save from Machine Orange. 21 seconds remain on the power play. No personnel changes from either group. Girls on the Minnesota black team all standing, excited with what's going on. The players on the machine orange team are all sitting, getting rested up for what should be a pretty, pretty tough last eight and a half minutes as Zoe strips the player on the faceoff, spins, walks in and talks for what looked like an effortless goal, but that comes from years of practice. So Zoe goes two in a row with some pretty awesome individual efforts. So, newer unassisted at 8.30. So, back to full strength. Zins and Christian backing up newer Prosser and Volkers. They're not announcing goals here, so I'm trying to do my best to help you guys out. Christian bounces an orange player, and Prosser sends one across the ice. Gathered by Huber. Huber turns it the other way, tries to rim it up the wall. Zins is there, but gets chipped. Zoe helps with a little over the top. There's a trip on Volkers. They're going to let it fly. And Newer's right back in the crease. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to watch the game for a second. Huh? Machine Orange seems to be bottled up. Last year when we played them, they iced the puck countless times. Uh, they seem to be a little more confident to hold on to the puck and engineer some breakouts this year, which they've had some more success with. I know they've bolstered their roster with some new players, which seems to have helped, but the results of this game would tell you that, uh, that the team Minnesota just ends up with a little bit more firepower as Volkers walks in, tries to go side to side. Long shot from Zinn, sails wide. Christian tries to center a puck. She's got a head home. Preston jumps back in. She's in front of the net. Preston is a player you don't want hanging out in front of your net. 
She scored a great one-timer goal in our second game today. Ended up being some uh, pretty nice insurance policy as Zinn steps off for Bundy. Christian shoulder checks. They might be calling her home. Puck has played low. A lot of this game played down in the orange zone. McDonough's on the trail. Preston wins one. Tries to play it back and it's intercepted. I don't know if this one's going to go. I think we should hustle it out, but it's a whistle. So now that there's a five goal deficit, we're at running time here in the third period. So maybe that's justice for the girls who've had to play so many games today to get done with work a little early. Puck has played back. Some confusion between Stevens and Bundy. Orange ends up picking it up. They break the blue, but a pass for Donahue. There's a speed differential here between Taylor and Lander. Taylor uses some physical play to stop the rush. Hardwick picks one up. She's got it on her backhand. She's going to continue to surge through the middle. She sets up a heavy forehand shot, but some good stick on puck. Keeps it in the rink, but well over the net. Things get sticky on the end wall. Donahue breaks it loose. She tries for Nolander. Nolander is tied. Donahue takes a shot from the side. Stevens kind of floating over the middle. She's good at finding those little soft spots and staying out of coverage. Orange picks up a one-on-one -on -one here. It's, oh, a player cuts back on Bundy and gets maybe a little more than she bargained for as Bundy still stands her up. Stevens tries to play one up for Donahue. It's a no-go. Zoe's looking to get some hats on the ice. Bundy gets caught off guard, angled out into the wall. Volkers is stick handling and kick handling. She gets red and sends it deep. Less than four minutes in the game with Nyberg and Zins on the blue line. Long pass to Zins, long shot from Zins. Blocker save from, I believe the goalie's name is Matty Ludwig. Good physical play from Orange. I like the way, I like their style. They need to build some speed here as the girl basically tries to slip, slip Piper, but Piper kicks it back. <laughs> Shots to your side by Kayla. Kayla hasn't seen a shot in a while, so good to see you, Kayla. Puck off the shins of Nyberg. Oh, ran out of space there as Zoe Neuer. Centers one for Orange. Let's do some kind of rebate program when you score so many goals, you gotta kick back a little bit. No problem for Kayla. I'm sure she has handled much worse than that. Addie Preston looks to dig this one back for Hardwick. Hardwick strong on her skates. And we're gonna try and see a breakout from Christian to Harns to Preston. Huber breaks that up. Preston picks up a puck. She's looking to put this one away. High, hard shot, steered wide by the keeper, Ludwig. Harns picks up a puck, chips it down. Orange goes to just swat it, and Hardwig probably had a chance to recycle that one back, but I think with the running time, they're not too worried about picking up whistles. I think they're just ready to be done playing hockey today. Maybe that's the strategy. Get it to running time and 
Salt him away. Huber plays one at the wall. Centered it to Scarlett. It's Scarlett and Christian. It's a one on one. Christian gets a poke on it. And it's in the corner. It's back in front. And then Donahue with some speed. She plays one around Huber, but can't get full clearance. Toe drag by Christian. Long pass up to Stevens. Stevens pushes out on the forehand. And gets disarmed in the corner. It's back the other way for Orange. They're trying to stretch something here. Christian is in the way, loses her speed in the process as Orange continues with this relentless attack. Where's this been? Orange picks up a loose puck, slams, jams. Oh man, tough turnover behind the net, but we're under one minute remaining in the game. Seconds are tick, tick, ticking away. Renata from Orange and Evelyn Volker's digging at the dot. Faceoff's one back and it's a long deflected shot covered by Kayla. You know how bad the girls want to finish this thing off the way it sets. Volker's another faceoff win for Orange. Another long shot from Orange. Another save for Kayla. It's 15 seconds remaining in the game. Girls are going to have to take a few lumps to try and keep it low. Worst thing you can do is throw it out to their D. They're jamming it on the side of the net, so they must know something we don't. Puck picked up by Palmer Prosser, and that's a 5 nothing win. So Minnesota girls, black, national elite, end the day with two shutouts. They score 11 goals today and only allow one. So two shutouts. Fans are ecstatic here. This has been one heck of a game. We'll just leave you on the handshake line. And have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.